Hello, welcome to my video lesson. My name is Arman Jumabayevna. I am a physics teacher at Nazarbayev Intellectual School. Today I am going to present you a lesson on electromagnetic spectrum. Lesson objectives to understand what an electromagnetic wave, to name the part of electromagnetic waves in electromagnetic spectrum, to describe the properties of the waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. Keywords which we are going to use today following for wavelengths, frequency and amplitude. This keywords is known from previous unit. Let's check first of all what do you know before studying this lesson. Here is a given checklist and you may check your knowledge before studying lesson. Do you know how to state the parts of the electromagnetic spectrum in order of wavelengths? So, do you know how to state that all electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light through a vacuum? Do you know how to state the use of infrared, microwave and other types of waves? Do you know how to evaluate the risks of using mobile phones? You may check your knowledge. Electromagnetic waves are everywhere in our daily life. This is a problem question. Can microwaving your food give you a cancer? Is it true? If microwaving does not cause cancer, is it bad for you in other ways? What about these types of wave? Can you identify it? Can you identify this type of electromagnetic waves? What about this? Can you identify this type of electromagnetic waves? Okay, now we are going to see a short video uh, uses of electromagnetic waves in our daily life. Something surrounds you, bombards you, some of which you can't see, touch or even feel. Every day, everywhere you go, it is odorless and tasteless, yet you use it and depend on it every hour of every day. Without it, the world you know could not exist. What is it? Electromagnetic radiation. These waves spread across a spectrum from very short gamma rays to X-rays, ultraviolet rays, visible light waves, even longer infrared waves, microwaves, to radio waves which can measure longer than a mountain range. This spectrum is the foundation of the information age and of our modern world. Your radio, remote control, text message, television, microwave oven, even a doctor's x-ray, all depend on waves within the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic waves, or EM waves, are similar to ocean waves in that both are energy waves. They transmit energy. Let's memorize our concepts from previous unit. What is a wavelength? The distance between one wave crest to the next crest. Amplitude. This is a maximum height or depth of the wave from the middle. Frequency. Frequency is the number of wave crests per second. The main concept is electromagnetic wave. What is an electric field, magnetic field, and wave. Let's see a short video about propagation of electromagnetic wave. So this is a typical electromagnetic wave as proposed by Maxwell. We've got three dimensions. We've got the x-axis that goes along in this direction. That's actually the direction of the electromagnetic wave. We've got the y-axis and of course uh, the third dimension is the z-axis. And of course the electric field is represented by red. So you can see that this, this red field is perpendicular to the x-axis and it's uh, of course it, like a sine wave it goes uh, above and then it goes below. So we have crests and troughs. At the same time that the electric field is being generated there's also a perpendicular magnetic field being generated in the blue. And those two are perpendicular and they, as one gets bigger, the other one gets bigger. As one gets smaller, the other gets smaller. And so we have both perpendicular electric and magnetic fields. And notice that the uh, z-axis, which carries the, 
uh, magnetic field and the X and the Y axis which carries the um, the electric field are both perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. Okay, as you can see from this animation, electromagnetic waves, it's a propagation of electric and magnetic fields. Properties of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. If you remember, mechanical waves, for example, sound are longitudinal. As you understand from animation, electromagnetic waves create by a vibration of an electric charge. Another properties of electromagnetic waves that electromagnetic waves can travel through a vacuum. Example, for example, sun's heat and light reach our Earth. All electromagnetic waves travel with speed of light. Another property of electromagnetic waves that electromagnetic waves don't transfer a matter, they transfer energy. And the energy which they transfer depends on the wavelengths of the wave. So, let's make conclusion. What is the link of this image? They all travel as the electromagnetic waves. This is an electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic waves in electromagnetic spectrum started from low frequency to high frequency. And electromagnetic waves from longest electromagnetic waves to shortest electromagnetic waves. Now we are going to research a different types of electromagnetic waves. This is a pentagon shape. Your task is to choose one type of electromagnetic waves and research it using the next question. For example, this is a one type of electromagnetic waves. So you should research what can detect these electromagnetic waves. Where are these electromagnetic waves in electromagnetic spectrum? Where are they used and where do they travel? What are the electromagnetic waves properties? What are the sources and how are they produced? The next question is, when are they dangerous? And questions for why? Why are they useful? Why are they dangerous? And why are they more or less powerful? The same questions for another types of electromagnetic waves. So this is infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-ray and gamma rays. So during your research, you may use this useful website or textbooks which is given in your classroom. During your presentation, you should complete the next form for peer assessment. Pay attention to the next section. Explanation of wavelengths, frequency and wave speed of electromagnetic waves. Explanation about uses and hazards. Using an interesting information in your presentation and sources. As you watch each presentation, you should mark the group on the criteria which is given below. 5. Completely covered. 4. Mostly covered. 3. Covered quite well. 2. More information needed. 1. Touched on it. This is an additional information which we may use in your presentation. Radio waves useful for current radio, TV and mobile phone signals. For example, Bluetooth works using a radio waves. Let's see a short video on using a radio waves.
Guglielmo Marconi's first radio transmissions in 1894 have spread into space for over 100 years at the speed of light. They passed Sirius in 1903, Vega in 1919, and Regulus in 1971. That signal has already passed over 1,000 stars. Anyone orbiting one of those stars with a really good receiver could detect Marconi's signal and know that we are here. Radio waves are the longest and contain the least energy of any electromagnetic wave. While visible light is measured in minute fractions of an inch, radio waves vary from about 19 centimeters, about the length of a water bottle, to waves the length of cars, ships, mountains, all the way up to monstrous waves longer than the diameter of our planet. Heinrich Hertz discovered radio waves in 1888. The first commercial radio station went on the air in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on November 2nd, 1920. Then, in 1932, a major discovery by Carl Jansky at Bell Labs revealed the stars and other objects in space radiated radio waves. Radio astronomy was born. However, scientists need giant antennas to detect weak, long wavelength radio waves from space. The enormous Arecibo radio dish antenna measures 305 meters in diameter, over three football fields. Scientists can link the signals from an array of separate radio antennas to focus on tiny slices of distant space. Such arrays act as a single immense collector. This giant New Mexico array uses 27 parabolic dish antennas shaped into a giant Y, with each arm capable of stretching for 13 miles. Scientists have even spread these linked antennas across the globe. One of the largest stretches from Hawaii to the Virgin Islands and acts like such a powerful telephoto lens that a baseball sitting on the moon would fill its entire field of view. Many of the greatest astronomical discoveries have been made using radio waves. Pulsars, the existence of giant clouds of superheated plasma, which are among the largest objects in the universe, and even quasars, such as this one over 10 billion light years away, were all discovered using radio waves. Radio waves also provide more local information. Astronomical objects that have a magnetic field usually produce radio waves, such as our sun. Thus, NASA's stereo satellite is able to monitor bursts of radio waves from the sun's corona. Wave sensors on the wind spacecraft record the radio waves emitted by a planet's ionosphere such as the bursts from Jupiter, whose wavelength measures about 15 meters. Radio waves fill the space around us to bring entertainment, communications, and key scientific information. We can't hear these radio waves. When you tune your radio to your favorite station, the radio receives these electromagnetic radio waves and then vibrates a speaker to create the sound waves we hear. We may not be able to tap our toes to the cosmic radio transmissions, but we certainly discovered much about our universe's grand cosmic dance by listening to them. This is information for microwave. Microwaves are shorter than the radio waves. Microwaves as well used for heating food and for communication. For example, satellite TV. Microwaves can pass through atmosphere and reach the space. In mobile phones, microwaves carry the signal. Let's see a short video about use of microwaves. Microwaves can pop your popcorn. They can catch you speeding. They carry thousands of phone channels to speed your calls. But can microwaves help us learn about our world and our universe? Let's find out. With wavelengths ranging from 30 centimeters down to 1 millimeter, microwaves fall between radio waves and infrared. Microwaves are used in Doppler radar, which is widely used for short-term localized weather forecasting and what you see on TV weather news. Satellites have revolutionized weather forecasting by providing a global view of weather patterns and surface temperatures. This unique perspective has greatly increased the accuracy of tropical storm and climate forecasts. Different wavelengths of microwaves, grouped into bands, provide different information to scientists. 
medium length C-band microwaves penetrate through clouds, dust, smoke, snow and rain to reveal the Earth's surface. Satellite microwave measurements reveal the full Arctic sea ice cover every day, even where clouds exist. These measurements show great variability from year to year, but also an overall decrease in Arctic sea ice since the late 1970s, illustrated here with maps and a time series of Arctic sea ice in September at the end of the summer melt. The Japanese Earth Resources Satellite uses longer wavelength L-band microwaves for forest mapping by measuring surface soil moisture such as this image of the Amazon Basin, to identify areas of recent deforestation. L-band microwaves are also used by global positioning systems, such as the one in your car. Scientists routinely combine microwave information. Next electromagnetic waves, infrared. All objects emit infrared radiation. The hotter an object, the more infrared radiation it emits. Infrared radiation is absorbed by the skin, and it can damage or kill skill cells. Infrared radiation is used also in TV remote control and optical fibers. Infrared radiation can be detected by infrared cameras. Next, electromagnetic waves, visible light. For example, light from the sun is called white light because it has all the colors of the visible light. We use optical fibers to transmit signals which is sent by light. For example, in a film camera, light is focused by a lens onto light-sensitive film which is then developed. In a digital camera, light is focused by a lens onto a sensor. And then the sensor is made up of light-sensitive cells which is called pixels and these react and make up the image. This is one of the uses of light. Next electromagnetic waves, ultraviolet. Ultraviolet used for sunbeds in nightclubs to detect count fervid burnt notes. Ultraviolet radiation comes from the sun. Question. Can ultraviolet be useful? Think about these questions. But from white side, ultraviolet light causes sunburn. What happens if you keep getting burnt or get burnt really badly? So let's make conclusion. Skin cells absorb the ultraviolet radiation. The energy of the radiation causes damage to the cell. Blood travels to the skin to try and fix the damage. And this is why your skin goes red. How can you protect yourself from sunburn? You may research also which sun cream is better? How do you think? Are all sun creams as good? What do these numbers mean? The next types X-rays. X-rays are small enough to pass through body tissue, but they are reflected by bones. X-rays is used in medicine, but medical staff should remember that they must wear lead aprons to reduce the exposure to X-rays as they can can cause So this is an example of X-rays. We can use X-rays to look inside the body instead of cutting it open. So let's see how do X-rays works. When X-ray hit your body, most go straight through you. When an X-ray hits a bone, then bone absorbs it. And this makes it look white on the X-rays photograph. Conclusion that 
X rays from one side is has a negative consequence from another side is useful it's used in medicine question are x-ray safe the answer is yes but in small dose big doses of x-ray can damage your body and causing a cancer that's why people who use uh, x-rays should know that they should use a uh, special clothes which can help them to protect themselves. Especially the pregnant women. They also need to know that X-rays can damage unborn babies. The last type of electromagnetic waves in the electromagnetic spectrum, gamma rays. In electromagnetic spectrum, gamma rays has a high frequency and their shortest wavelengths. In comparison with another electromagnetic waves, gamma rays is the most dangerous types of electromagnetic waves. But gamma rays is also used in medicine, for example, to sterilize and medical equipment. Gamma rays causes radiation sickness. It can also cause cancer, but the more radiation you are exposed to, the more ill you'll be. This is an example of some consequences of gamma radiation. Gamma radiation can cause mutation. But question, is it ever useful? Yes. Because it is dangerous to cells, but it can be used also to kill cancer cells. So, conclusion that the gamma radiation also from one aspect is useful, from another aspect it has a negative consequences. Let's see a short video a uses of electromagnetic waves in our real life. In this video, I'm going to describe the uses of each region of the electromagnetic spectrum. And we're going to look in detail at ultraviolet light. So this is our electromagnetic spectrum, radio waves, low frequency, high wavelength at this end, and gamma rays, high frequency, low wavelength at the other end. So let's begin with the radio waves. Obviously they can be used for radio transmission and also for television and can be used for observing the night sky using these radio telescopes as well. Moving along to microwaves, the obvious use of a microwave of course cooking with a microwave oven but also Wi-Fi networks and mobile phones make use of microwaves to communicate. Infrared radiation we use quite commonly to cook our food. This is a heating element in a, in a grill that uses infrared radiation to transmit heat uh, and also we can use it in cameras in order to see uh, for example police helicopters might use them to, to track a su suspect in the dark Remote controls for televisions also use infrared to communicate. Visible spectrum, that's all the light we can see. That's going to include uses such as traffic lights or photography, both of which rely on visible light. Ultraviolet light we use when we're sunbathing. It gives us sunburn and some tan. And it can also be used for so just here where an ultraviolet light is revealing a, a hidden security feature on this banknote. X-rays, well fairly obviously they, they are used for medical imaging, uh, as are gamma rays. Gamma rays can also be used to treat cancer as, a, as part of radiotherapy and also uh, to sterilise objects. Let's check our knowledge. This is a matching activity. In one side, there is a given types of electromagnetic waves X-ray, gamma rays, ultraviolet, microwaves and radio waves. In another column, here is a given a uses of electromagnetic waves. Sterilizing medical equipment, heating food, looking inside lorries for illegal goods, transmitting information over long distances, checking for forgeries sun tap beds. Your task is too much and find out uses of electromagnetic waves for different types of electromagnetic waves. Let's do it together. X-rays is using 
for looking inside lorries for illegal goods. Gamma rays is used for sterilizing medical equipment. Ultraviolet electromagnetic waves is used for checking for forgeries and suntan beds. Microwaves is used for heating food. And radio waves is used for transmitting information over long distances. Now let's solve problem using a speed of electromagnetic waves equation. This is a triangle method for speed of electromagnetic waves equation. From this equation, wave speed is equal to frequency to multiple two wavelengths. Example. A mobile phone gives out electromagnetic waves of frequency. Calculate the wavelengths of these waves. Speed of electromagnetic waves in air is given. From previous example and equation, wavelengths is equal to speed over frequency. Substitution is give us the answer. And answer is wavelength is equal 0.33 meter. Next activity mixed up sentences. Here is a given sentences but in incorrect order. Your task is to find the correct order of sentences. Let's check. This is a correct order of sentences. Radiation can be described as energy carried by waves. Radiation cannot be seen and is shown in the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum has many types of radiation in it, including X-ray, gamma rays, ultraviolet rays and infrared rays, microwave and radio waves. Used all around us in devices such as remote controls for TVs, in microwaves and in mobile phones. All objects give all of infrared radiation, also called thermal radiation, as well as absorbing it. The hotter something is, the more radiation it gives off. Next task, fill in the blanks. You have uh, different sentences with uses of electromagnetic waves, but some, some words are missed. Given only first letter of the words. For example, in first sentence, the electromagnetic spectrum consists of seven different type waves. Missed words, electromagnetic. Now you may find out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 words. Now let's check. The first word, electromagnetic, next, interfere, microwave, phone, vibrate, infrared, visible, sun, ultraviolet, Sunbus, Cancer, X-ray, Gamma rays, again Cancer, Radiotherapy. For your home task, you may choose from three different tasks. Task number one. You should create a mnemonic to remember the order of the electromagnetic spectrum. Use first letter from each type of electromagnetic waves. Example is given below. Ronald McDonald is very ugly except Gary. This is a task number one. Next task, electromagnetic spectrum. Your task is you are going to write a story that includes two uses of each type of electromagnetic wave. 
two uses of radio waves, two uses of microwaves, two uses of infrared, two uses of visible light, two uses of ultraviolet, two uses of X-ray, and two uses of gamma rays. In your story, you should put the name of the wave in brackets after you have mentioned the use in the story. For example, James Bond put his briefcase through the baggage check at the airport. In this example, X-rays is mentioned, hoping they would not detect his Walser PPK automatic pistol. There will be one mark for each use, so a total is 14 and 6 marks for how interesting is your story. The story should be no longer than a single page of A4. Good luck! Follow your instruction to create your electromagnetic spectrum story. This is your last task. Our electromagnetic lives. You should explore how your lives are affected by electromagnetic radiation by keeping an electromagnetic journal for one week. You should record each time what do you observe or come in contact with electromagnetic radiation each day. For example, listening to the radio, talking on the cordless phone, going through security at the airport, or getting a sunburn. You should record the date, time, and one sentence explanation of the incident including what type of electromagnetic radiation do you observe. So, you should share your encounters with electromagnetic radiation and create a cluster journal to find out the most popular daily activity involving exposure to electromagnetic radiation. Good luck! This is ex exit tickets for reflection. You should write one scene that you have learned today. Think about one question which you have today. And write down one interesting fact from our lesson. Thank you for your attention. I think that our lesson was useful for you. Goodbye.